In this video, we'll see how to find out point of contact flexure in case of simply supported beam carrying point loads. So the arrangement of the beam is as shown in the figure. So we are having the point loads of 30 kN and 10 kN as shown in the figure. The total length of the beam is 6 meter so this is 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6 meter and it is having a left hand side overhang of 1 meter now we'll see how to find out the beam reactions the first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0 upward forces are positive and downward forces they are negative so ra is acting in the upward direction rb is also acting in the upward direction so both are positive and these two point loads 10 kN and 30 kN they are acting in the downward direction so they are negative so ra plus rb minus 30 minus 10 is equal to 0 or we can say that ra plus rb minus 40 is equal to 0 or ra plus rb is equal to 40 kN now summation of moments is equal to 0 now we'll take moment about point a the conditions the conventions which we have used are clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative so taking moments about point a so as you can see this rb will produce anti-clockwise moment about point a and the distance between b and a is 2 plus 3 that is 5 this downward acting point load of 30 kN will produce clockwise moment about a and the perpendicular distance between d and a is 3 so this is 30 into 3 as indicated over here and this 10 kN it will produce anti-clockwise moment about point a so 10 into 1 and negative because it is the anti-clockwise moment now transfer this minus rb into 5 that is 5 rb on this side 30 into 3 that is 90 minus 10 that is 80 so we can say that 80 divided by 5 that is value of rb will be equal to 16 kilonewton now substitute that value in equation 1 so from equation 1 we can say that ra will be equal to 40 minus rb or ra will be equal to 40 minus 16 that is 24 kilonewton now we'll start with the shear force diagram the conventions used are upward forces positive and downward forces negative now we'll start with point c at C, we are having a downward force of 10 kN. So, shear force at C is minus 10. Just at the left of A, without considering this RA, the value will be 10 kN itself because there is no other force that is acting between C and A. But exactly at point A, there will be an upward acting force of 24. So, minus 10 plus 24, that is 14 kN. Shear force just at the left of D, there is left of D. There is no other force that is acting between A and D. So whatever the force that is acting at A, the same will be acting at the left of D. So it is 14 kilo newton. But exactly at point D, there is a downward acting force of 30 kilo newton. So it is 14 minus 30, that is minus 16 kilo newton. Just left of B without taking consider taking into consideration this RB, there is no other force that is acting. So whatever the shear force that is at point D, the same will be acting at the just left of the point B. So it is B left as indicated over here. But exactly at point B to this minus 16, there is a upward acting reaction or a reactive force of 16 kN. As it is acting in the upward direction, it is positive. So minus 16 plus 16, that is 0. Now we'll draw the shear force diagram. So using the values which we have calculated, we can easily draw this particular shear force diagram. So at C it is minus 10, at A left it is minus 10, exactly at A it is 14 kN, remains same at D left, at D it is minus 16 kN, will remain same up to the left of B and exactly at B it is 0 kN. This is, this is the shear force diagram. Now we have to draw the bending moment diagram. The conventions which we have used are clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. At the end of the simply supported beam, moment is 0. So bending moment at C is 0. Bending moment at point A, 
we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of A. So on the left hand side of A we are having 10 kiloton force and it is producing anti-clockwise moment. So it is 10 into 1 minus 10 into 1. So it is minus 10 kiloton meter. Now bending moment at point D. We have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of D. So this 10 kiloton will produce again anti-clockwise moment about point D and the distance between C and D is 1 plus 3 that is 4 kN and as it is an anti-clockwise moment the value is negative so minus 10 into 4 but RA will produce clockwise moment about D so 24 into perpendicular distance is 3 between A and D so it is 24 into 3 so we can say that this is minus 10 plus 72 24 into 3 that is 72 so 72 minus 40 that is 32 kilonewton meter and bending moment at the end is always 0 so bending moment at point B it is 0 so this is the bending moment diagram which changes the sign over here so at C it is 0 at B it is 0 at point A it is minus 10 and at point D it is 32 kilonewton meter. So this is the point of contour flexure where bending moment diagram changes the sign. So just extrapolate that particular point where bending moment is 0. Suppose that section is xx and suppose this section xx is at a distance x from point C. Now the conventions are same that is clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. If this distance is x and this distance is 1 meter then this remaining distance will be x minus 1 meter. Now we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this section xx. And bending moment at this section is 0 that we know. So consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this particular section. So this 10 kN it will produce anti-clockwise moment and the perpendicular distance is x so 10 into x and as it is an anti-clockwise moment it is negative. But this RA will produce clockwise moment about section xx as indicated by this arrow and the perpendicular distance is x minus 1 between A and this section xx so it is RA into x minus 1. Substitute the value of RA over here so RA into x and this RA into minus 1 that is minus RA. So value of RA is 24. So it is transfer this minus RA on this side it will become 24. So 24 into x. 24x minus 10x that is 14x is equal to 24 or we can say that x will be equal to 24 divided by 14 that is 1.714 meter from C. So this is the point of contour flexure. So in this way we can find out the point of contour flexure in case of simply supported beam having left hand side overhang and carrying the point loads. Thank you very much for watching.